Hello friends and welcome back to another video and this time we are going to see this newly released function which is talk history. This is an amazing function. I have been experimenting a lot since it has been released and let me quickly show it to you what do we have it today. Let's understand the purpose of this formula. The name itself say stock history which means it will extract the historical data and it will load all the financial points and it will load it into excel in an array so it based on your construction of the formula the array will get expand and shrink so let's look the syntax of this formula it says the stock history and the red color what you can see is the important input value you cannot ignore them if you don't have those values you will not get the return stock history information so let's look more into examples and see how it works. So here I need to extract the stock history for Microsoft. So I'll say equals to stock history, MSFT, comma, and the date. Now the date, if you can see, it is 1st of June. Now we are going to look those other arguments in the coming example, but let's close and hit enter. We have this new error, busy. Um, I feel that that is something fetching the data from the internet. So that's why they have put that as an error as BZ. Well, looking that information, so we got that stock history. And now I'm making this video on 13th of June. So it will not extract the present data. So it will extract only the data till 12th of June because it's an historical data. That's why we can see it like this. Now let us go and look some other arguments which are available over here. So I'm just going to press F2. And now we need to end it. Now let's suppose that you need only for the 10 days data. So I'll just say the start date, which is there plus the 10 days. That is the data of what I'm looking. And you can even summarize your data by daily, monthly, weekly. We can just put the number one comma. And in case if you don't need the headers or you need the headers, let me show you the number two, which is over here showing the instrumental identifier and the header. And let's say you need the opening, closing stock, high, low, the volume. Let's say we need uh, to show the opening. And if you have to add some other property as well, let's say it's a date. Close parentheses, enter. Again, we got this PZ and we got that information. So you can see that we got that technical name of that Microsoft. And then we got the stock opening value and then the date. So we need the date first. So I would just play around saying zero and then two enter so i got that date and if i don't need that headers again i can simply go back to the formula click on the headers area so that is got highlighted you can see if i click on the value of the headers it will automatically get highlight interval it will highlight the interval so i'm selecting header and let's say we want this as one show only the headers enter and again we don't need that date as well we can go again headers and select the value as zero so with this we are just extracting only the data what we need let me show you another example calling the stock function stock history microsoft comma the start date close parentheses enter busy oh we are getting this value error can you guess any reason yes because it's the today date the formula what I have put over here is for today. So I need to make sure that I hit minus one so I get the date for the 12th of June. That's awesome. Let's look at another example with the currency exchange and this works really great also with the currency exchange. He equals to stock history, going back, selecting the stock to CHF to SAR, comma, then selecting the start date and this time I'm not putting the end date so I'm going to keep that argument as a blank and the interval will be, let's say it's daily, comma, and we need the headers. Yes, absolutely, we need the headers. So selecting one, close parentheses, enter. So we are getting this new PC error, and you can see all the way it has extracted the information within fractions of seconds. So let's go and change it back this interval to one, uh, not, not the weekly one, in fact, two that's monthly and that's a nice chart what we have and this is very dynamic let's say chf to aed we're getting this busy and that's super cool now if you have observed the number formatting it has automatically got changed as we have changed the currency now if you see the 
AED, it has automatically given the currency formatting. So this stuff is called as formatting number value, which is FNV. And whenever you are passing or you're looking any doing a VLOOKUP or something, it will automatically carry that formatting in that function. So that is pretty amazing. And there is one more new error that has been introduced with this stock history. If you just delete this input argument, you get this new blocked error. So that means uh, the data what you're fetching is not available. The source is not available. So you need to fix that. So let's say SAR to INR and we got this values. In fact, I don't know why the Indian currency is having this stars and because the Indian currency rupees look, the formatting looks a little different. In fact, I don't know why it is happening. Maybe some kind of a bug, which they may be fixing it in the coming days. So that's a cool one. So let me show you another example, which I was doing the experiment last night. And I found that something can be interesting done to this formula. The reason why, because it is still in Office Insider where Microsoft is evaluating this thing and they're checking that, okay, fine, uh, they can fix the bugs wherever is available on the stock history function and before they shoot it to the production and they have it for all Office 365 users. So in fact, we can even give recommendation to Microsoft and they can evaluate our request and based on the votings, they can even implement also. So I have a recommendation over here where Right now, if you see the properties, is accepting only the numeric values. Now, if you support this idea, my friends, I would be sharing the link in the below video description. And if you like this idea, please vote for it so that we can have it in the stock history. So as you can see, it is accepts only the numeric value. Now, if I have something like open, it is not accepting it. Whereas I need to give a numeric value. That is number two. Whereas it will go and fetch the data and we got that information. So if I go and write open over here, that will give me a value error. It would be great that if it accepts the string value, so you don't need to do a nested if function inside this and then grab that high equals one and those kind of stuff. You don't need to do it. So it will accept as it is. So, so that is an idea what I have. And if you like it, please support it. So that's all for today from my side, my friends, about the stock history. But in the coming days, I'm going to post some amazing stock history function videos and you're going to love that. So stay connected. Make sure that you hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment box about this new stock history function. So till then, take care. See you soon. Bye.